flashback back with me closer and closer to the present because the dawn comes so refreshing uh, Safo and in the morning <laughs> Barsha's bleary I know uh, they rendezvous on the outdoor patio, hippie palms, and the, the cafe tables, and the divan uh, couches and platforms, and the walls themselves uh, have all been carved out of the same block of tuff, pumice. Yeah, only in Cappadocia, <laughs> the most encompassing organic material world. Yeah, uh, well... Cleopatra, Earthman, wander on the scene. Pasha naturally invites them to join their table. And uh, they enjoy a, a light Turkish breakfast. This is sort of like a continental breakfast in Europe, a traditional uh, Turkish breakfast. Uh, and wow, uh, they are served the, their provincial cuisine by a mm, strikingly beautiful Vietnamese waitress, Muang Bang Trang places before them. Oh, a large, uh, a, a communal plateful, oh, Turkish feta and olives, uh-huh. And, uh, oh, a whole a stack of those circular uh, uh, bread rolls with the opium seeds on them, smick mick rolls, and together fresh butter, fresh, fresh Cappadocian butter. And uh, at Nescafe, anyone? Says Muang Buang Tuang Trang. Oh, um, oh, 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 uh, a, a glass of almond flavored milk, Ben Dimli. Mm. Wow, uh, yeah, good stuff. Well, uh, other world travel, okay, everybody's having breakfast, you know, they're, they're, they're you know, they're meeting. And I'm exchanging pleasantries, uh, Cleopatra. Well, I'm from uh, the seaside uh, Australian town of St. Kilda, kind of a suburb of Mel Melbourne. Yeah, Earthman, huh? Yeah, I'm from California. Mm -hmm. And uh, Osafo, Brooklyn. Brooklyn, New York. And now everybody looks at uh, Pasha. Mm. For a few microseconds, Pasha hesitates. I am from Bodrum, Turkey, on the Aegean coast, uh, near the Dodecanese Greek islands. Rhodes is in the neighborhood. Uh, this is the eternal moment when Sappho becomes enlightened, the revelation that Pasha is Turkish knocks her out. In the boxing ring, she'd call this a king punch. Never see it coming. Blindsided. Face down on the mat. The t count to ten, mm -mm, over, you're still unconscious. Eating canvas. Cause the Sappho to reel back in time. When a few days ago, Pasha sat next to her on an airplane in Thessaloniki, Greece. When she was going off her head, four billion snapping Turks salivating to abuse her. <laughs> then that uh, mystical. Oh, first night in Istanbul, in Pasha's bedroom. Oh, the magnificent view over the uh, skyline. Yeah, Humped, Cap Humped Camel uh, Hotel, fourth, uh, fourth level, highest level, um, where she sought refuge uh, after she flew boldly to transcendent paradise very close to transcendent paradise while tripping on 
2,000 micrograms of LSD, eight super strong traps. Sappho has never been so stoned, and there have never been so many possibilities for her as right now. And, uh, I mean, she finds herself in a never-before-experienced realm. Uh, she's, um, yeah, I mean, she had she was over visiting Sphinx in his Gohali penthouse, uh, giving him the answers to the two ancient riddles. Yeah, I mean, crack detective work, and he rewarded her, well, maybe just a tad too much crystal for a reward. Whoops. Um, yeah, and Safo now she has never experienced any realm anywhere near it. transcendentally high. She doesn't even know what that means. I mean, she doesn't have a zodiac sign anymore. She might as well be a helicopter star. She just looks down. I mean, all the zodiacs fuse into her ass. She is it. They are it. Ooh, and what about sexual preference? Well, she doesn't have one anymore. I mean. Binary bliss. Oh, I don't need any sexual preference. Don't try to define me or get in the ring. I mean, well, newfound egoless awareness. Wait a minute. I don't think, should we go? Sappho floated above her normal every day. I mean, she's been used to it for her whole life, self, that she could enjoy a hundred percent, a torrid, all-night, princely, sexual charmer. Pasha? Who wet sucked the five silver toe rings right off her toes, and she likes feet. Mm -mm. I mean, um, yeah, wow, floating in space. Um, the heat of it, 21, Pasha. Oh, whew. those toe rings were on pretty good, too. Uh, yeah, reeling back in time. Not so long ago. We're almost home. At the Sphinx, a fairy chimney, fire turret, half cave. Uh, he told the story of the Omar the Dustmaster. It's a dusty story. Uh, she blew Pasha away with the sloppy Brooklyn uh, massage parlor blowjob of his lifetime. Free, she totally, this is subtle, totally merges with true reality. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Whew. Uh, she uh, she looks at Pasha. There are no Turks anymore. True reality. Oh, she looks at, at Cleopatra. There are no more Australians anymore. Looking from this height of light, you see with light. I'm not hearing stories. I'm seeing with light. There are no foreign people. I mean, like Sphinx said back in the rose, he, on that cosmic midnight ride, we are all born from awesomely loving mothers. <laughs> and I was so lucky, huh? My first guru, my mother. Oh. 